we've had a strong magnitude 5.7 earthquake. The location was Reykjavik, Iceland. It rocked the, the whole island and uh, the 5.7 shook. The uh, Prime Minister of Iceland was on television giving an interview at that time. Iceland rocked by major 5.7 magnitude earthquake as tremors were felt in the city. We know that it's on the mid-Atlantic ridge mid-atlantic ridge of course stretching all the way from the north pole to uh, antarctica has magma underneath this is uh, what it looks like underneath the feet of someone scuba diving in the area and this is it right here it's a hot spot with magma underneath kindly support my patreon account since youtube has again demonetized my youtube channel the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Here we are. This is one of the cracks that you'll see under the uh, flippers of the uh, diver there. This is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and uh, we'll see that it stretches all the way from Iceland, north of Iceland, all the way down to Antarctica. And this is full of magma. This is it right here. This is where the earth is stretching and opening. As we know, the whole earth is growing at the rate of a human fingernail every year. Yesterday we had a 7.6 magnitude earthquake in Alaska, followed by very large aftershocks. I, the um, and I'll show you the, uh, I'll give you the uh, link to the uh, size of Berkeley. You can see there's about 30 since then. 30, around 5 magnitude were the aftershocks. Now, we don't know if the Alaska, that was a major, sh the uh, major uh, shock, or if that was a foreshock of a, of a bigger earthquake. That's what happened in 2003 with the Denali, Alaska earthquake. But this is the location of it, Reykjavik, and we'll see the shake map by USGS, and we'll see that it shook the whole island, if not only uh, also Greenland and uh, northern Scotland. Let's take a look at the maps. Now, the Europeans have it at a 5.7 magnitude earthquake. USGS has it at a 5.6, 10 kilometers depth. That's about six miles depth down. And um, this is it right here. 82 people reported USGS as having felt it. And uh, no tsunami. But uh, the intensity map, let's see. The intensity map, this is it right here. Sort of yellowish, meaning strong to light shaking in Reykjavik. And bluish in the other areas above that, moderate to very light. And the shake map will go to right here. Okay, now if you extend the... Uh, USGS stops at that block. But if you extend and extrapolate the shake map, obviously it's going to go... No, pretty pretty big, pretty wide. This is Greenland right here. Um, this is Shetland Islands. This is uh, the northern area of Scotland and the Hebrides and uh, Scandinavia. And if you pull out, we'll see the fault line. There we go. That's it, all the way to the North Pole, all the way up there. Oh, it doesn't go up. It brings us back down. Okay, that's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge right all the way down to this here, the uh, area of Antarctica. Okay, this is the African plate, the North American plate, the Eurasian plate, and uh, this connection here is where we have the Azores volcanoes. Right there, they're coming up right there. Where are we? There we are, right there. These are all volcanic islands. And um, it's not far from the uh, eastern seamount. These are about 30 submarine volcanoes that point towards North America and towards Maine. Maine has five volcanoes, as we know. But anyway, this is all magma underneath. And this is our area right here. It shook the whole island, as we can see, right here. OK. And let's go and see, 82 people reported, let's go and see, oh, they don't have any information, but anyway, it has to do with the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge being full of magma. And, uh, of course, we have 
earthquake activity there. It's a magma that is filling and uh, causing all this. We know that Iceland, of course, is a hot spot. And the volcanoes of Iceland. Well, Iceland is one huge uh, complex of volcanoes. It's not just one volcano. There must be like hundreds of them on there. Uh, it's a hot spot. Let's go to volcano discovery. Volcanoes of Iceland. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't know how many there are there. Take your pick. And uh, this is it right here. Reykjavik has what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 around uh, Reykjavik alone. Uh, look at all the Barabunda volcano. Light to moderate earthquakes. This was all the way back in September. And uh, Iceland and its volcanoes. Iceland, here we go. It sits right there, right on the Mid-Atlantic Trench. Iceland, the land of ice and fire, is a true paradise for volcanologists. A few places on Earth, geology and human history, are so closely connected to volcanism as on Iceland. The island owes its extents, uh, existence to the large volcanic hotspot sitting on the mid-oceanic ridge and unique setting. The plate boundary between the American and Eurasian tectonic plates crosses Iceland from south to north, and the spreading process can be directly measured and observed on land. Now, Iceland and its volcanoes has the land area of Virginia and the population of Virginia Beach, about 260,000 people. The country has the highest literacy rate, 100% of any nation in the world. Its history has always been closely related to the volcanoes and knowledge of many volcanic eruptions since the Middle Ages are preserved in accounts. First settled by Vikings in the 9th century AD, Iceland established its own parliament in 930 AD and recorded its first historic volcanic eruption only a few years later. After a golden age of literature in the 12th and 13th centuries when the sagas were written, natural history reporting reached a low around the 15th century. In the year 1707 to 09, a third of the population died from smallpox, and in 1783 to 84, Lackey eruption killed a fifth of the remaining population by famine. Iceland gained sovereignty from Denmark in 1918 and complete independence in 1944. Iceland is noted for subglacial and regional fissure eruptions related to the rifting process between the separating plates. Now we know, uh, okay, these are some of the uh, things, the volcanoes there, but we know that it also has a lot of uh, geysers, beautiful geysers. And uh, from what I had read previously, uh, all of it's, uh, it's very, of course, very cold up there, but uh, they have spring baths and people can take uh, hot spring baths, even in the winter. <laughs> and also everybody has uh, heating from geothermal heating from um, the, vol the volcano heat from the magma that they have under there. So this is what we have there. Let's go in a little bit more. This one here is Grimm's Vault. Uh, is that what's got its uh, latest update? Rest, restless two out of five. Let's go to the volcanoes around here. Uh, Reykjavik. I guess the closest one is this one here. Dormant one out of five. Um, Reykjanes volcano. One out of five. Last update June 12th, June uh, 17th. Earthquake swarms, etc. So I'll leave you a link for this volcano discovery if you want to check the volcanoes of Iceland. As you can see, they're basically formed around the area of the fault line right there.